Ade, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoises is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Why, look! It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Mwah. that about he left this morning with the galleon as faith we'll discover a good use for this old cove ourselves i will make something of it in time we could keep a fleet here if we like and with a bit of fixing up it'd be a decent place to call home might even convince my wife to come one day you're married are you in god's eyes i am she left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything. Odd looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I've something else to show you. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Casse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of Decas, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. Leaving already? I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. 
We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory? I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? <laughs> what is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished here. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like the Cass's dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. No! Oh. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. Not this time, can we? Where did all that come from? Come on, man! We can work this together! Still? You have your chance. Stay your blade, kid! Wait! Jim, stop! Damn you old strats! Keep your natty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both. Patience, man. You'll have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that? 